welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Stocko Gloss. As you can see, we're on the 1.1.01. Excuse me. We're uh, jumping to Bjornholm, where um, we should be up for fast forward in time to get these crops uh, into a position where we can start harvesting and make loads of money. That's the episode. <laughs> That's the uh, goal of this episode is to make uh, quite a bit of money. Um, now we've got that other big field that we added, which is cool. Uh, so we should be getting some uh, some decent money from that one. And then once we've done it, all the harvesting, we're gonna try and uh, connect the fields together. That should be fun. I don't know if we're gonna do it this episode. There's a uh, there's an awful lot of um, there's an awful lot of <laughs> uh, stuff to be done, harvesting to be done. Right. Okay. So I think everything's. Everything's uh, planted, I believe. Let's have a not that one, that one, and have a look. Uh, it was yesterday I finished it. Yes, they're all growing. Brilliant. So what I do is we fast forward time. Do you fast forward time with this one? Nope. We fast forward time with this one. Um, there we go. Plant growth normal. Great. Let's go down and have a look. Oh, turn the lights on and everything stalls and tries to work out all the lighting effects. I'm going to check on this field up here. We'll probably do the furthest, furthest one away first. This combine's so quick compared to the far. You know, you know when you start out with the combine in 2013, you got that really old far. Um, yeah, this thing's a little quicker cool okay so we can uh, so we can fertilize and seeded you and Zachary Mary Jane the crew we still haven't named our fourth worker yet uh, and I've been looking at the um, the previous episodes in the comments there's one that stands out which I've been reluctant to, to choose only because it's probably my favorite and it feels like um, I'm playing favorites um, but you ask the wife, you ask any of my friends, I love the name Frank. I called my rabbit Frank, and my fr my rabbit is a, is, I might have said this in uh, previous episodes, my rabbit is a girl, and I call her Frank. Uh, she, but um, I'll get away with it, because, um, you know, Frankie is also a girl's name, so it kind of works. But uh, yeah, Frank is going to be our fourth worker. Uh, it's a massive toss-up between Frank and Bob. Um, <laughs> I like Bob, uh, but but Frank is my um, is my favourite. So uh, so yeah, we got you and Zachary, Mary Jane, and Frank at uh, the Bjornholm farm with me, Stucco Gloss. Just uh, just directing people where to go and you know just being a, a friendly boss. Let's get them up to there. Well, there's not really else. Uh, to be doing. I've uh, parked all these up. I was going to wash these before the next episode, but uh, we only just washed them, so. Ah, this one we need to go back to the farm. Still very eerie playing this game in the dark as well. Um, but those crickets are really loud. <laughs> You can actually hear the crickets over the sounds of the tractor. That's uh, some powerful crickets we've got in Bjornholm. Oh, there's a lighthouse over there. I forgot about the lighthouse. The Beacon God. <laughs> okay, we're going to go into the negative money. But it's not a problem. Okay, okay. The crops are growing down here a little bit quicker, so... Oh, the Tokyo drifting again. And uh, thank you for the person who left the comments in the previous episode, saying that Stocko, great video, but um, yeah, Vin Diesel was in about three minutes of Tokyo Drift. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's all growing nicely. That's a nice view there. You can see the the beacon god of godliness in front, um, and you got the fields growing. I can't wait to own this field here. So what we're going to do is hopefully join 
I don't know whether to join these two together or join those two together. Or just wait until we buy that field and then just join all of them together. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you, what you like to see. What This is one big field. It probably makes sense actually to do this in one big field. But one big field or two fields and two fields. Or just leave it with the... Uh, with the muddied path going through. Right, what I'll do then, uh, see you hanging on, I'll pause the recording and I'll be back in a second. Hello and we're back. Okay, so I've been having a bit of a think um, as the uh, as the night passed and we're coming into the day and we're coming back into the night again actually while waiting for this, uh, this to grow. Um, I wouldn't mind getting into bailing. Now it seems a good uh, source of ink. Like I don't know where where we can sell bales. Um, where they actually sell bales? You don't really need bales at the moment. Um, but uh, I'm I'm keen to get the uh, the lumber yard going. So we're going to uh, basically sell everything. We're going to harvest and sell everything, and buy the equipment to uh, to start our logging company called Stucco Logs <laughs> uh, do, you, do you get it? like Stucco Vlogs and Stucco Gloss but Stucco Logs ok um. alright we need some help let's get one of the bigger tractors oh lovely look at all the all the fields are grown It's uh, early evening, 22 minutes past 7 at night, and uh, got plenty to do. So let's drop this cedar and get into the trailer. Watch the phone box. Now we've already we've got some um, we've got some seed stored in our silos already. Uh, we've got twenty four thousand barley. Uh, we forget about the wood chips. We can't. I don't know where to sell this. I can't even pick up the wood chips, can I? Don't think you can collect wood chips. Anyway, let's not worry about that just now. But um, yes, yeah, so we've got twenty four thousand barley. So. You know, if we sell everything at the freight yard, uh, there's also a great demand on for corn. But it doesn't really help us considering we haven't planted corn. Well, I hope not anyway, because uh, I've got nothing to cut it with. But um, yeah, I'm quite excited to see how much that field over there brings. It costs us fifty odd thousand. Uh, we managed to pay back the bank. I think we owe the bank uh, literally only about five thousand from when we started off. So um, let's have a look at that actually. Yeah, five thousand. Then we're back to our, our normal, um, back to our normal hundred thousand pound uh, loan. Yeah, so we, we've grown actually quite quite well. You know, we got another cultivator, another seeder. We have got some, you know, an, an extra plot of land, and we paid for that from the hard work we started off with, with um, harvesting straight away. So with this money, we're going to spend it wisely. We may even chop in a tractor. I don't know uh, Frank would chop in Frank's tractor or something, and um, and hopefully I have enough money to secure our logging business, Stucco Logs, trademark TM. <laughs> um, and that will, because uh, I hear that the logging side of things is 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 quite lucrative, and uh, you know what we can't forget is, uh, yeah. You wouldn't believe how many times I've done that off screen. Just making sure I've still got my uh, my chainsaw. <laughs> oh, I know I'm sad. But uh, I do like I do like cutting down trees. Okay, we're gonna keep unloading Mary Jane. For most of the episode, it's gonna be uh, me unloading uh, Mary Jane. But we need to do it. We need the money. I suppose 
Is it worth getting us another another trailer? Do you know what I think it is? Because one trailer could be doing the unloading, the other trailer would be doing the selling. And that'll work out quite well, wouldn't it? We haven't got much money, so we're gonna have to visit the Mr Mr. Bankman. Um Right, let's see how much a trailer is worth. Uh, let's have a look. Seven thousand. Okay, that's 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 fine. We're, I think we're going to do that. Just going to speed things up a bit. We're going to need another trailer anyway. And uh, I know a lot of people in the comments have been uh, been mentioning the tra trailer. So all we need to do is borrow ten G's <laughs> from the local mob, the bank, and we'll buy ourselves a tipper. Uh, oh, oh. Awesome, we could choose a colour. Oh no, I pressed default. Oh, I was gonna choose a really funky colour. Oh I need to sell it. I can't I can't live I can't I can't do that. Okay. Um Garage You own two. Can I sell one? Oh, I'm gonna lose so much money if I sell it. Oh no, forget it. I'm gonna have to. Ha I'm gonna have to keep the color. Oh, I could have chosen a different color. Oh well. There's no point crying over spilt colors. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go to the shop and pick up our new trailer. It's filthy already. Look at the footprints. We've got boot prints all over the uh, all over the tractor. These boots are made for walking. So, I haven't asked it this episode. How are you peeps anyway? How are you getting on with Farming Simulator 2015? Uh, I, I, from some of the comments, I, I, I think uh, a few people are having um, some issues with uh, black screens and, and the wind mirrors not working and um, you know not even be able to log into the game. So on uh, on behalf of Giants, I apologise, um, but uh, please stick with them because I'm sure they're going to they're going to do their best to uh, to sort it out straight away. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, uh, please leave um, leave some farm and sim photos on there because uh, I do like to see what everybody else is doing. And uh, if you're uh, starting up a multiplayer game, then uh, then let me know. Uh, let me know on Twitter, and I'll retweet it and get some people to uh, to join your uh, join your farm. And you never know, I might even join and help along. So I do want to start checking out the multiplayer map a bit more. Um, and uh, what better to do that than uh, with you, lovely peeps? And also, I'm going to bang the drum once more. Uh, Tebby24. It's, uh, it's only a few weeks away. Yes, I'm going to have to stay up for 24 hours and play video games for your enjoyment. And to raise money for the uh, various charities that we've got going. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've, 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 I've got the, uh, the Red Bull and, and other energy drinks are available. Um, ready to, uh, to keep me going. I can remember last year I had my eyes closed and my head rested against the microphone. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it is this day ever going to end. Uh, <laughs> oh, missed it. Start filling. R. So we want to. St yeah, the barley. Barley, 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 barley. Um, yeah. So, Tebby24, be there or be square. Now, where's the best place to sell the barley? Freight yard. Green elevator. Oh, the freight yard is taking. A dive in prices. Mm. Eight. So you're looking around about nine hundred. That's still more than most. Oh, I've got to go freight yard. I'm, I'm I'm trying my hardest not to go there, but these prices are just not like the windmill is seven thirteen. It is good, but it's good, but it's not right. I think we're gonna have to go freight yard again, peeps. There's me saying, oh look, it's very overpowered. I'll try not to use it. 
But when you're on like $1,329 um, or pounds and then uh, you owe the bank 120 grand, yeah, you, you, you haven't got really the uh, opportunity to be as uh, picky as you'd like, you know. You go where the money is, that's, that's what you do. Uh, in terms of need, you know, you, you hit that freight yard. See, that saying would have been a lot cuter if it rhymed. In terms of need, you go to speed or go to the freight yard. It don't, it don't quite rhyme, but y y you know what I'm trying to say. This hill, though, is the killer coming back. But we deal with that. We start seeing the ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. Money coming in. The last thing we'd be worried about is a little hill. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of Mary Jane. This, uh... Yeah, she needs, a. Uh, She's emptying her seed. I know this can't be um, automated at the moment. I say at the moment because I believe that there's... Um, oh, somebody asked me in the comments to say, there is hundreds of mods available for Farming Sim 2015. Now, uh, a lot of the new uh, subscribers, hello. And uh, thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing. Um, the first season, you know, I'll probably get up to 50 episodes again. Uh, or probably more, actually, because I, I'm kind of showing a lot more on screen than I, than I was in my first series. Oops. Um, but I want to be um, kind of doing this mod free. So this is the true vanilla. The true vanilla style of uh, farming sim. And uh, we're going to be looking at uh, doing some, some modding in the, in the second season. I hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, I, I realise there's loads of mods out at the moment. But what you find is the mods are getting rushed out. And they're not quite ready. You know, some of them might be good. Some of them, you know, are going to be great. I'm not going to put down any modders. But, you know, I think what you find out in, in you know, in, in three, four, five months time. That's when you start getting some of the real cool, cool mods. Uh, so we're, we're kind of going to wait for that. And in the meantime, I'm just going to play a mod free vanilla game. There may be a few exceptions if, uh, you know, if Giants release a a DLC update or something in, in the next uh, month or two, then uh, we'll look at getting that. But other than that, at the moment, we're going to go mod free. Mod free. I could take this straight down to the freight yard, really, shouldn't I? That kind of makes sense rather than just putting it in here. But we need to unload Mary Jane again. Oh, wrong turning. Oh, I can't believe I didn't change the colour of my trailer. Ah, oh. yeah, that, that, that salesman at the shop. He must have. Uh, he's like, "Hey, Stocko, you can have any colour you want. You can choose any colour. Any colour. Any. Oh, you want to go with default colour? Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, he's saying to his other colleagues, "That Stocko gloss is boring. You know, I would have gone for the pink one. You knew it. I knew it." Even the shop owner knew it. That was going for the pink one. Ah, but the uh, the mouse was out to get me. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about, and I apologise. <laughs> uh, I was just checking the mic is actually on. <laughs> it is. Don't worry. Also, don't forget to check out, um, I'm doing um, the Buzz Aldrin's uh, Space Program Manager, which I mentioned last episode. I'm uh, really enjoying that game. Uh, the Russians keep beating me <laughs> to the moon, so uh, I need to, uh, we need to just stop doing that. I played it once through and, uh, yeah, basically got fired because the Russians uh, got there first. But I was concentrating on Mars and Venus, which I thought was a lot cooler than, uh, than the moon. We gotta unload. Yeah, we gotta unload Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. 
Jerry, quite the one, Jerry. How does your garden grow? Still quite difficult to get the uh, the speed correct. You're looking at five or six miles an hour. Be nice if they like uh, put a button, you know, so you can hold the speed. I know you can press one and two to increase it and decrease it, but you know, I'm a rogue. What can I say? I'm like a simulation rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I told you I got no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's carry on to the freight yard. Whoa, sorry car. Do, 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 do. Could you do like putting the radio on? Uh, has it got a radio? No, this one hasn't got a radio. Or some nice um chumba wumba or some you know uh I don't know. Um, I'm probably showing my age a bit there. Okay, we're here. Right, we're gonna wait until fill this up and then press the button. I guess we could, couldn't we? So just unload that, and then we can see like that you get a massive hit at the end. Like you press the button, it's like oh my god, we like tripled our price. Yeah, we do that. We won't press the button just yet. It's like I'm one of these people. You guys could probably guess by my my sense of humor, by by who I am. You know, after like 700 videos that I've put up on YouTube, I know you know practically a lot of you probably haven't watched all of my videos, but you, you get a sense of uh, the character and the person. If I seen a big red button at a freight yard or a lever. I would definitely push it or pull it. I I I couldn't stop myself from doing it. You know, I, I don't I don't think I could. I would just have to find out what what happened. I'm so inquisitive like that. I, I <laughs> at work, you know, I'm forever like, okay, I don't know how that works. I'll just do this and find out what happens. And uh, you know, thankfully, I haven't uh, killed anybody or um or put anybody's life in danger. Other than my own, but yeah, I'm a bit of a bit of a nightmare when it comes to that. And I'm the same. I'm the same with the computer games. Like what you'll know is, you know, there's people who already got millions of pounds in the bank in you know in the time that they played their farming sim. You know, after day two, they've they've already like won. I I like to you know play at my own pace and and do things. I don't know normally. <laughs> Um, <laughs> as normal as stock gloves can be, but I like to uh, just take my time and enjoy the game. And you know, there there is a rush for money. There is, you know, and I'm conscious of that when you're doing a let's play, it's a, it's a bit more um, demanding than if you were just playing on your own. Um, but there's still a way that I, that I enjoy playing, and uh, and thankfully, there's a lot of you that uh, that enjoy the way I play as well. So. I'm sorry if it is a bit slow paced. That's just uh Oh look at that, we've got twenty more thousand in there still. Never ending barley. Alright, let's check on Mary. <laughs> I was a bit confused and I was like, um where does he call my harvester? Go in. I can't help it now. I've got Chumbawamba song going on in my brain. You ever get that at work, like um, or anywhere really? You know, you 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 sat watching TV, you know, with, with your family, and, and somebody just turns, you know, just starts humming a song, or, or you know, is um, where am I going? I was following the great demand, but that ain't gonna matter. 
But uh, yeah, your family member or somebody at work or somewhere starts humming a song, and then you can't get that song out of your head. You know, you try, you try, but it's just no getting away that you are going to have that song stuck in your head all day and possibly all night. I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. See, it's there. I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of things to say. That uh, and I can't get Chumbawamba right my yeah. Uh, okay. I am not gonna mention Chumbawamba again. <laughs> now all I want to do is mention Chumbawamba. Ah, Joyce, you're mad. <laughs> oh, what am I like? I'm only done one field. We've got another three fields of this. But I'll tell you what we do is we get um, we get you in and start cultivating that top field. Uh, we better move. I suppose we can start doing that now and get you up there. I know this is this lighter lighter tractor. It's not really it's not really efficient to be putting this on the cultivator. But I need the faster ones to uh, to unload and uh, and sell our seed but I'm starting to learn this map now you know I'm, I'm getting the hang of where everything is you know it's only taking me 10 episodes and about 12 hours of playing Forty-one. Such a good indication of how long I'm recording for, really. This may be a long episode. But I want to get as much as I can. And the only criticism I think I probably got in my last Let's Play was I've probably done a bit too much off-screen. Um, so I'm conscious of that. We're not in a race, you know. It doesn't matter if we don't get a million pounds until next year. It, it doesn't really. You know, as long as you guys enjoy the videos I'm putting out, and I, I, I you know, I enjoy actually making the videos, and that, that's really that all should matter. And um, yeah, I can't remember what thought process was going there. I'm still thinking of Chumba Wumba. <laughs> no, what I'm going to say is, uh, yeah, doesn't matter if it's a longer episode. Okay. Oh, you was gonna stay there, was you? Right. I need another uh, another trailer. <laughs> um. Yeah, I might have to get another trailer. No. It will get quicker, at, you know, because we're doing the furthest field first. It's taking a bit of time for me to, you know, get this one back. But when we start getting on the closer fields, we start getting a bit more efficient, and it won't take as long to unload the uh, unload Mary Jane seed into our trailer. I love the way we just drift around corners. Yeah. I did see something on there. Uh, on the BBC News website today at work and some guy at Branzat which is like a racing circuit in the UK oh I did it again not this one the other one he decided there was a race on there and it was um, I think it was a uh, vintage Volkswagen uh, Beetles I think and he decided to take his Volkswagen Polo and uh, go for a ride <laughs> he got sentenced he got, actually got uh, jail time for that but it did make me giggle a bit <laughs> just uh, some idea of some kid driving around in a Volkswagen Polo around Brands Hatch and all these souped up um, super duper Beatles yeah there's actually a video on YouTube of him doing it as well which uh, yeah it, it made me smile yeah I'm glad no one got injured and no one got hurt it is a silly thing to do 
is there, you know, I think, yeah, you know, the lad accepts that. It was a stupid thing to do, but I'm not condoning it, obviously. <laughs> I just find it funny. Uh. Okay, we'll get this one finished, uh, this field finished at least this episode. I was hoping to get a bit more done, but um, it does take a while. I don't know why he keeps missing bits like that there. Mary Jane. Why do you keep missing bits? Okay, you should just uh, go. Once you're done. I do miss, yeah, if there's one mod that I miss from my 2013, it's probably the Inspector mod. The Inspector mod and the, um, and the cows and sheep and all that, you know, to let you know how they're getting on. It's the information mods, I guess, that I miss the most. Um, cosplay, I, I, I liked cosplay, it was, it was, it was a nice thing to have, but, you know, you couldn't live without cosplay. Uh, it's nice to have all the, um, you know, the John Deere stuff. And I think I mentioned it in the last episode. I, I, I was a bit unsure why they wouldn't want to uh, sell their license to uh, to Giants or Giants to, you know, put the John Deere stuff in the um, in the game. Seems a bit weird. I'm not going to press that button yet, even though I want to, I want to press it. I get knocked down. And then I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. Okay. I'm going to plow into a car one of these days, going around that corner like that, like looking. So we're filling the carts at the freight yard. It'd be worth quite a bit of money once we uh, when we pull the trigger. Bang bang! I shot you down. Bang bang! You hit the ground. Bang bang! Sorry. And amazing how words just trigger like uh, songs and things that you uh, that you're thinking about. It does for me anyway. I say my mind works. <laughs> you know, he was saying, uh, "Oh, pass me that bucket, Delilah." <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. Show my age. Shut up, Stocko. You don't want to hear about me singing. You want to hear about me, uh, you know, farming, doing the important things in life. Plowing a field. So yes, uh, if you don't listen to any of my rambling, ramblings that's uh, been going on this episode, uh, please uh, take in that uh, Tebby 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 Twenty Four is happening in uh, two weeks' time, 29th of November, 2014. Please, please, please uh, come along. It's <laughs> okay. I suppose we're emptying one load, aren't we? And then we're filling it back up. <laughs> it's so inefficient. Um, yeah, so make sure you uh, you come along. Uh, we're playing Minecraft. I'm sure that every single one of you listening to my uh, my my channel has got a Minecraft account. Um, it won't cost you a penny, and you'll be playing with us um, fairly soon. We're going to set up a, a multiplayer 
thing on um, I think it's Magic Farm 2 and I haven't done much with the Magic Farm 2 stuff so I'm quite uh, looking forward to it ah brilliant this one's done let's uh, put Mary Jane's pipe in her big long pipe put those beacons on yeah. look Mary Jane's flashing Oh, yeah, I'm tired. Okay, peeps, I'm tired. <laughs> oh. We've got uh, three and a half thousand litres of uh, barley left over. I can't remember what we've got planted here. I think canola's on the big one, I think wheat on these two. So I wasn't sure if there was going to have any great demand. So I still want to split the um, split the the crops and and make sure we cover all ang angles really. So let's open the pipe. Uh, we'll empty our seed in a second. Oh, I don't need you up here anymore. There's Ewan doing a good job. I think he's uh, Tokyo drifting. Yep, he's Tokyo drifting. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Good man. Eh? That's a dedicated farmer for you, that is. You know when you got some lad in the in the machine shop saying I don't know son that tractor is not going to pull that cultivator through that ground it hasn't got enough power old Ewan's like hey give me the tractor give me the cultivator give me an hour and I'll have this field cultivated the dedication of Ewan is just amazing eh? I'd like you all to uh, put your hands together for Ewan actually you know, give him a massive shout out in the comments below, give you and a huge shout out to say thank you for uh, for being awesome in uh, in all our series of uh, of farming simulator and for the dedication of side drifting, <laughs> the cultivating <laughs> achievement. I got no idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to end this episode in a minute because uh, it's been a long old day. And I apologise for you. <laughs> I apologise to you lot for having to listen to me uh, to go on. All right, okay, this is a good place to uh, to call it a day. And I'll, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Take care and ciao for now.